Well, today's project, we've got a laundry sink with a pump. The pump keeps running, it doesn't shut off. There's a float switch in there. Don't know if it's the float switch or the pump, but we gotta dig into it. And because that's connected up to the waste line, we're gonna take this opportunity to put a service valve in here because we didn't have one put in when it was first installed. One of the reasons for the service valve, we assume this drain line is full of water because down inside here on top of the pump is a check valve so that the line doesn't drain all the way back into this container every time the pump shuts off. So in order to not get water all over the place, I think we're going to get into this box first, see if we can loosen up the fitting on that check valve, we'll get the water flowing down into the box to empty out that pipe, then we can put in that service valve without having to worry about all that water getting all over the place. That's gonna make a mess no matter how we do it. I think I'm gonna just have to loosen that screw and pull it off and hopefully most of the water will go back into here. All right, we're getting some water flowing out of the pipe. Maybe we just take a pause and let that empty out slowly on its own. And of course, as soon as I turned the camera off, I moved it and all the water came splashing out. But at least we know the pipe's empty right now. These cutters are certainly the least messy. It's not really made for this size. I think this is only up to inch and a quarter. fake it. The inside of that pipe looks surprisingly good. I thought there would be more of a buildup on that. I'm kind of happy about that. more room to work here. So we got PVC on the valve here. We're supposed to clean that with the primer. And since we're gluing to ABS, we got the all-purpose cement. I'm gonna hurry up and do this because that the waste end of that pipe is starting to stink. I think I'm just gonna do the top end of this. I don't wanna to put too much glue in there because I don't want it to run down into the valve. I think this should be fine. So really at this point, we're sealed up here. Maybe I'll wait to glue that until we finish taking a look at the pump. And that way we know when we put it all back together, we can get a good lineup below. problem with the float I didn't see the water getting I don't think it went much below this when it was pumping so that's why I think it's something wrong with the pump that it should really pump I mean you can see where this float ends up 
in the down position and based on the scum line on it it should pump you know right down to that and it was definitely not getting that far down so I want to say this is definitely a pump issue let's just see with that float down I'll plug it in see if it turns on no it doesn't so that yeah the water was definitely above that level all right, let's bring this over to the bench and take it apart. Let's see. I wonder if we can see the motor shaft spinning in there. Yeah, we can definitely see that spinning, but... And... Interestingly, are these? These look like there were would have been screws in there, but I see a lot of rust. I'm wondering if were there screws and they just rusted out. That's what it kind of looks like. Maybe that's why this is leaking, because this part is separating. Yeah. We can get that separated. I wonder if we can put new screws in there and hold it back together. Yeah, you should probably unplug it, huh? Just a little more rust on a couple of those heads and I think it would be out. Maybe I can dremel the head, the rest of the head off. That might be the best thing. Got that side and that side. I know they make these little pliers with a notch in them to grab the heads of a screw or something. I have so many pairs of these, why not uh, we'll do a little modification, can we? That'd give us a little edge on there anyway to maybe grab into it better. Got my bin of miscellaneous stainless. Yeah, probably about a number eight screw. Are we going to call that fixed? I don't know. I think we've got a pretty good chance at success here.
we got to do now is just glue up that pipe. I always find a pocket knife with a stiffer blade does a better job for some things like this. much but push that up and turn it that's right where it needs to be that set and try it out later. I'm going to put that in because you know if I don't I'm going to drop one in there and I don't want to fish around in that crud. And we just have a clamp up here. Ended up letting that cure overnight. So it's time to give her a rip. I'm going to plug her in, see if that water uh, drops all the way down to where it should go and that the float switch turns it off. back up and go through a, another cycle. Yeah, definitely works how it should and pumps a lot faster than it did when that cavity was open. So that was clearly a case of a uh, planned failure in the manufacturing using inexpensive parts and then they, that way they can sell more pumps but I think we beat them on this one. <laughs> 